Hi everyone, <clears throat> this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout for Simple Stories. Um, today um, we are taking part in an Instagram hop um, for National Scrapbooking Day um, and I'm using the Simple Vintage Farmhouse Garden Collection which is a new collection just about now shipping to stores. Um, I've already made one layout with it and this is my second um, and um, I uh, say so this is part of an Instagram hop so make sure you head over to the Instagram uh, sorry the Simple Stories Instagram account um, and start there and then hop over to all the new design team members um, to see all our fabulous layouts. Um, I have obviously made a video to go with um, my layout as well um, but uh, so you can't get to the hop from here but um, I will put a link below uh, to the Simple Stories Instagram, Instagram account so that you can head on over there and start hopping. Um, okay, so um, for this layout, I say I, I'm using the um, Simple Vintage uh, Farmhouse Garden collection. Um, it's um, part of the Simple Vintage um, range. Uh, there's a few of those um, available um, and um, there's more coming. Um, so this is one of those. Um, and um, it's very... Um, themed towards uh, the farm obviously um, but not only just like visiting a farm um, it's more about um, kind of being homegrown um, you know uh, um, farm to table um, and um, uh, you know your homegrown produce um, and things like that um, we don't grow anything in my house I couldn't keep anything alive I can you know, I can just about keep my children alive, but give me a plant, no chance. Um, so um, <laughs> we have this, these are photos from when we visited a farm. Um, and uh, I'm um, obviously focusing mostly on the animals um, in the collection rather than the homegrown produce. <laughs> Um, so I really liked the idea of um, colour blocking um, and uh, I have picked out three of my favourite papers from this collection um, and I've cut them into strips of four inches wide um, and then I trimmed them down a little bit more um, and um, blocked them all together um, and stuck them onto a strip of white that you can't see, it's, uh, it's behind it. Um, and I sewed around all of those, um, those pieces as well and then I tore the bottom edges off. So um, that gives me a nice kind of, kind of colour blocked um, background for my layout um, and it's going to go onto a sheet of um, white card. Um, and what I'm planning to do is to make little pinwheels in the similar colours. Um, so I've used um, the, um, uh, the basics pack um, that you can get. Um, basically they are a set of pattern papers but they are all solids. They're kind of like B-sides um, and um, they are fabulous um, because they read as a solid, they have all the beautiful colours that coordinate with the collection um, and uh, they just have a very um, small print on some of them, like very, very subtle, just a little bit of texture, nothing, nothing, uh, not a proper pattern, um, like some, some text on, on one side or some um, grids, something like that. But um, it's really lovely to have those solid um, patterns. Uh, to work with, that'd be brilliant for mounting photos and for making uh, little folded elements like I'm doing right now. Um, so, um, and they'd be great for backgrounds too. Um, so I am making pinwheels and I thought I would try to make them so they coordinate with the papers um, in the colour blocking uh, background. So um, pinwheels are super easy to make. You literally um, cut a square, um, fold in half diagonally uh, both ways, um, and then make cuts almost to the middle, but not quite. And then you just stick um, the points um, into the middle, um, and you do that with alternate points. Um, and um, this then creates these really super duper cute little pinwheels. Um, normally I would um, adhere them, or I would um, secure them with um, brads. Um, and I'm talking about the type that go all the way through and have split pins on the back. Um, now, um, we have adhesive brads in this collection, but not uh, the ones with the split pins. So that's not going to work. Um, I did think about um, using uh, my own brads, um, little ones that I've got to hold them all in place. Um, but what I decided to do in the end was to stick all the points down into the middle um, and then um, uh, sew them down using my sewing machine um, and that's purely to um, 
my, my adhesive is not that brilliant. It's quite repositionable. So anything that uh, has a bit of, you know, causes a bit of stress or really needs to be, um, rather than just stuck flat, if anything has to be stuck down that's um, got some pressure on it, um, my adhesive really isn't good enough. I could have used wet glue, but um, I decided to just tack them down in the middle with the um, my normal adhesive <clears throat> and then sew them, sew through them on the sewing machine with a few stitches. This meant that they really won't go anywhere. Um, and then I'm then going to add the adhesive brads to the middle. Um, because of course, if I'd added a regular brad, one of my own little ones, to hold all the middle pieces down, then I wouldn't have been able to add the adhesive brads on top because they wouldn't have given me a flat surface to stick down with. So I decided to do the sewing to keep them uh, the points in place. And then that gives me a little middle section to um, add my adhesive brads to. And I'm so pleased I did it that way because they work out really, really well. They look fabulous. I'm so happy with how they, they turned out. Um, so you may have noticed that for the pink section, um, I used, um, I started off with the um, coordinating paper um, in the pink colour, but the other side was a really dark uh, colour, like a black. Um, so that just looked a bit too harsh against this layout. Um, so I swapped out that paper for this slightly darker pink shade um, and on the reverse of that was the turquoise blue. So that matched a lot better. Um, so, um, so yeah, I'm glad, glad that I did that. Um, uh, yeah, so now that I have all my pinwheels done, um, I now need to just arrange my photos and my ephemera and my pinwheels onto my colour blocked background. Um, so, um, yeah, so I'm just going to spend a bit of time uh, working out where everything's going to go um, and uh, get all of those bits and pieces stuck down. So at the moment, the layout just has my photos, um, the pinwheels and that large um, barn. Um, it's like a turquoise colour, great colour. Um, and uh, I've, so I wanted to get um, some other things onto the layout rather than just the pinwheels. So it was just a case of um, trying to work out where everything should go without it getting looking too cluttered. So my two photos are in. I've mounted those onto the basics um, papers as well. Um, and um, I've got my barn in place and then I've got a chicken as well. I love the chickens. Um, so I've added those, uh, that one, him in place as well. Um, and I'm now just kind of starting to bring in some other things. Um, I'm pretty happy with how my pinwheels are looking. So I'm gonna go ahead, commit, stick them down and add the adhesive brads um, to the middles. Um, so just doing, doing that right now. Um, and then I have this um, really lovely piece from the chipboard, which is um, like a layered uh, border. So I've just added that to the bottom of my photo. Um, and I've also added a layered sticker from the layered stickers pack. Um, over on the right hand side that says Sweet Life, just under the under where the chicken is sitting right now. And then what I'm trying to do is embellish um, colour on colour. So I'm having a look um, at where all of my colours are and picking out embellishments that go well uh, with the same colours. Um, I just wanted to get my title in um, because sometimes I find that I over embellish my layouts and then I have no room to put my title. So I'm trying to get into the habit of adding my title a bit earlier so that I can make sure that I have enough room for it. So um, I'm using the word happy from the um, phrase stickers, the, the foam um, stickers. They don't just have phrases on, they have little icons as well. I love foam stickers. They work really, really well. They um, adhere really well to the pages. They don't um, come off like chipboard does. Um, so, um, so yeah, really, really, really a big fan of uh, foam stickers. So I've added the word happy. Um, and I'm going to add another word to that as well, but um, at the moment the word happy was what I really needed to um, get in place. Um, so I've just been through the ephemera and um, picked out a few bits and pieces that work. And I say I'm trying to aim for kind of colour on colour. Um, so um, I've got over on the right hand side, I've got um, a label that says stay humble and kind um, and one that says kindness matters. Um, and then I've got a little wavy banner above the photo there that says bloom and grow. Um, so I'm just going to get all of those bits um, stuck down. I tend to distress the edges of most things, so even the little label stickers or label uh, ephemeras like that, I tend to um, 
distress the edges and then raise them on foam pads. Even if they're stickers, I tend to still raise them on foam pads. I really love my layouts to have lots of um, dimension. Um, I've added the two little butterflies down the bottom there and adding some um, little vintage G-type hearts um, around there as well. I'm just giving them an outline to make them stand out slightly better. And I'm going to raise those on foam pads as well. Um, so doing the same for all three of those, um, those little hearts. Um, above the photo, I've added a butterfly. Um, and a bit below the pinwheels, I've also added a butterfly from the foam um, stickers. Um, yeah, it's all coming on uh, quite well. I'm quite happy with how it's looking. I love the, the different sized pinwheels as well. Um, I started off with some that were really big and some that were smaller and some are really tiny. Um, so it's good to have a variety um, and to have the different colors. Um, and it all coordinates so well um, because I used the basics, the uh, basics pack um, to make those. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with how it's looking. Uh, just under the word happy, I've added three little label stickers that say little things, homegrown and better together. Again, I've distressed the edges of all of those and uh, raised them on foam pads. Um, just coming in to add a few more um, details from the sticker book. So um, some little turquoise hearts to the barn. Um, and uh, I'm now going to add my second word. So I've decided to um, extend my title. So instead of just saying happy, I've got happy day. Um, and I loved the black and white gingham um, alphabet stickers that are in the sticker book. Uh, so I've just added those um, to the uh, underneath the word happy. I'm going to give them an outline uh, because I worry that anything that has um, there's a pattern that's not a solid. Does that make sense? Um, you can lose the edges. Uh, you can use the definition of the edges um, by having the white parts of the pattern. Um, so I'm just going to go around those um, with a black pen. This is quite risky uh, because, of course, you might I might slip. Um, I might not do it perfectly. And there are some places where I don't do it perfectly. Um, and uh, I do. <laughs> oh, sorry about the view of my head there. Um, so, yeah, there are a few places where I, I don't do it quite perfectly and uh, I need to fill it in a little bit more. So I've got thicker lines in some places than others, but it definitely makes it stand out better. So it's worth doing. Um, okay, so I'm nearly done now. Just going to add some last few details. So again, I'm really paying attention to colour. I've added uh, two little um, pinky hearts uh, from the chipboard um, chipboard stickers. Um, and uh, what I thought I would do was add a few black splatters to this layout. Again, a risky strategy uh, because it could all go uh, very wrong. Um, I'm just going to write my journaling in before I do my splatters because uh, once the splatters are down, uh, I would risk um, smudging, <laughs> smudging them by then starting to do some journaling. So quickly, better to get that in first. Um, and now I'm going to add these splatters. So just a few, um, not loads, um, but just a few around certain places, uh, just to give it a bit of drama. Uh, I've got the black letters from the happy day um, and some black labels. So I just thought I'd bring a little bit of black um, in as well. Uh, I just have to wick up um, those big splatters uh, because some of them are going onto pattern paper and that tends to absorb the ink more um, and uh, I didn't want it to spread out too much or bleed. Um, okay, so I'm all done. I've stitched through my title just to give, because uh, I just like the look. Um, did that with machine stitching um, and, uh, and yeah, that's my layout complete, all finished. Um, so uh, thank you very, very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this layout, the pinwheels, and I really hope you enjoy the um, National Scrapbooking Day Instagram hop. Make sure you go and join in with that one. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. That was Nikki Rowland for Simple Stories.